What's going on guys? I finally built an alternator powered bicycle. So to turn on the bike, I just have a temporary switch on here for now just to test it out, switch this on. So this switch here creates the magnet on the rotor. So we turn this on and it applies a current to the rotor inside the alternator. The tire's a little flat, but it's working. Got some acceleration now. So what are all the parts here to make the alternator bike function? And of course, we'll start with the alternator. Now this was out of a 90s GM car. So I have a bunch of these alternators around. This one was very easy to convert. So to convert the alternator from a motor, basically you're disconnecting the stator windings from bridge rectifier. So as you can see, they're disconnected from the coils and the wires are directly soldered to the coil. So there's no more connection to the DC. The next thing you're gonna have to do is you need a connection point to these slip rings on the rotor. What I've done is connected two separate wires to each brush contact. When you apply voltage to these wires here, it's going to energize this rotor and turn it into an electromagnet. So we don't need a permanent magnet rotor for this. So I'm not using hall sensors on this alternator. I'm just using a dual mode controller to power it. Now dual mode means that you can use it with hall sensors or without. Now this alternator here, I did not add hall sensors. Hill climb. I think we're going to need some hall sensors. It is working. So back when I wanted to convert an alternator to a motor, I never really bought things online until about two years ago, and the controllers were way more expensive, so now it's way more reasonable to do this. Years ago, they didn't have these dual mode controllers. Down here, I have all my batteries in series, so we have about 48 volts. You spin this now, it spins pretty freely. I have to connect the rotor power now first because we need to create our magnet on the rotor. That's the rotor being energized. Now when I spin the alternator, there's a resistance. So it's just like a, there would be permanent magnets in there. You can feel that resistance. It's quite strong. Big spark because there's some pretty big capacitors in here. I'm going to crank our throttle a little bit. And it has very good speed control. It's really rocking around. Now the next thing we have is our batteries, four 12 volt lead acid batteries. So we have four batteries that give us the 48 volts. So I put together an 18650 battery pack. This is just three 3S holders. Each holder holds three 18650s. So I've actually checked the milliamps in my charger, putting out about 1800 milliamps. So we have 12 volts, 1800 milliamp hours, and then times that by three. So it seems to be running the field winding inside of the rotor here fine. This is just a test though. I might want to switch this out. So how did I mount all this onto the bike? Let's take a look. So what I've done here is I've just used some angle iron. So I mounted the alternator just with the two bolts to the angle iron. The clearance is pretty good. So of course I've welded a free wheel sprocket onto the hub of this wheel. This gear is just the gear you'd find, this one here, and I've just welded that one and bolted it to the freewheel sprocket. Mm -hmm. 
motor sprocket. I've just used a sprocket from a kid's bike. Place it on here. kind of hard to get it all balanced perfectly and true. I just had to keep filing it. So for our throttle, I'm just using one net off of another controller I had, and it's just a simple basic throttle. So this motor here is technically not a brushless motor because we need to power up the rotor to give us our magnet. What you can do is either you can then replace the rotor inside and you can put a permanent magnet in there, or you can run it like I have here with a separate battery pack, or you could probably run a heavy duty buck converter off your battery pack. So unfortunately on the video I didn't get up to the speed I wanted. The first time I took this for a run it actually picked up a lot of speed and got going. Right now it doesn't seem to be going quite as fast so it might be because of the temperature and the tires kind of flat. The weather's getting a little cold so I might put this project off until the spring so then I can do an update later. Change transistors, change the diodes. Just a prototype. I'm gonna switch it on. It's on now. That generator holds together. 